In this video, I'm gonna show you how to regain control of a lost Google Analytics account. I'm gonna show you how to do this in six simple steps. And trust me, this is gonna be much easier than you probably imagine. Everything I'm gonna demo here is gonna be done on the Chrome browser. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is navigate to the Chrome web store and we're going to install an extension onto our browser. The extension that we're gonna want is Tag Assistant by Google. So what you can do is to search for that, install it into the browser, and then what you're gonna get is a little icon that looks like this. And what this extension is gonna allow us to do, first off, is just find out what the Google UA ID is on the website that we're trying to get analytics access to. So in theory, the way this is gonna work is we need to find out what the analytics code that is currently on our website, uh, and we need to get that information to Google. So just for uh, this demo sake, I'm gonna navigate to my website, and you, once you have the extension um, installed, what you can see is Tag Assistant has found two tags on my website. And if I click onto the Tag Assistant extension tool, basically what you're gonna see is I now can find out what the Google Analytics uh, UA ID is, because we're gonna need that. From there, we're gonna wanna navigate to Google Analytics, and you're gonna wanna log in to the account the Gmail or Google account that you're gonna be managing the analytics account from. So you're gonna to navigate to analytics help, come down into the actual help questions, and you're gonna to want to go to manage accounts and users. From here, you're going to go to common issues. And once you're in common issues, you're gonna to navigate to the bottom, and we simply wanna to go to unable to sign into account. So from here, we're gonna to have to basically prove to Google that we own or manage the website in question. So this uh, help document is gonna show you um, a few ways and basically walk you through how to prove, uh, prove ownership of either your website or mobile app, and it's gonna have all the instructions that you need. But essentially what it comes down to is they're gonna give you a, um, some words here that we need to turn into a .txt file. So basically what we need to do is we need to copy this uh, phrase here, or this paragraph, set of text, and bring this into a word editor like uh, you know a word processor or uh, Microsoft Word. And so we're gonna paste that in. And basically what it's gonna uh, ask us is it's gonna have this, um, this uh, code here. Keep in mind, this might change, so um, don't necessarily copy this verbatim. Uh, double check with what's in uh, your help document. And then all it's gonna ask is insert e email address. You want this to be the analytics account that, um, that you want granted access. So find the email address to the analytics account that you want granted access. That's what you're gonna put in here. Put in the UA ID. So again, that's the ID that we went and found using Tag Assistant. And then insert the date. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna file save as, and you can save this as a .txt file, file right out of Microsoft Word. So you're gonna name that file analytics.txt, all lowercase. From there, you're gonna navigate to your website and you basically need to upload that analytics.txt file onto the root of your web host. Now there's a couple ways you can do this. Right now I'm in the back end of WordPress, so if you're on WordPress, I'm gonna show you a real quick way and an easy way that you can do this. But if you um, aren't using WordPress, some other ways that you can do this is through FTP, such as a tool like FileZilla, or you can log right into your host itself and go to the cPanel, go to the file manager in your cPanel and upload that analytics.txt file. But if you're on WordPress, here's a real simple tool that you can use. This is a plugin called 
WP File Manager. And basically it's a free tool that you can upload onto your uh, WordPress. And what it's going to allow you do, to do is you don't have to uh, find your hosting, log into your cPanel, anything like that. You basically just can come in here and if you navigate to this uh, floppy disk with the plus sign, basically this is how you upload a file. You're going to click on that. You're going to upload that analytics.txt file. And then it's going to be right in the root of your website. So your domain, you could even look for this uh, if you type in your website forward slash analytics.txt. You should then see your file and the text that you added uh, right on your browser. Now from there, basically we're going to jump back over to our help. And right down um, here at the bottom is going to be a contact us. You're going to click on that. And basically what's going to happen is you're going to now have this uh, contact form that you're going to have to fill out. And basically what you're going to do is you're just going to enter uh, your name, your contact email, the uh, customer's Google Ads ID, if you have it. Um, so only if you have a Google Ads account. This, keep in mind, this process will essentially work for getting access to Google Ads as well. Uh, if you have the uh, email address of the last known uh, analytics uh, account manager, please add that. If you don't have these things, just put an NA. Um, again, the name of the last known user, if you happen to have somebody, uh, try your best. And then for sure, put the URL of the website that you're trying to get analy analytics access for. Finally, you're going to add the email address that you want analytics access granted to. So this will be the email address for the analytics account that you're trying to get uh, this website added to or access granted to. Finally, there's just going to be a quick uh, summary of the issue. You don't have to get too in-depth on this. Um, just put, hey, you know, we no longer have access to the site. Um, former employee, former manager, no longer with company, blah, blah, blah. Here's the best way to get a, a hold of me. Then just click you know, that you um, have uh, provided proof of the ownership of the site. Again, that's that analytics file. Um, click this if you're providing proof of AdWords. And yes, you have permission. Then finally, it's going to ask, how would you like to be contacted? Call, email, or both? I always recommend doing both. Um, just the more ways they can get a hold of me, the better. Then what's going to happen is in about probably two, maybe three days at the most, you're going to get a phone call. It's most likely going to come from like a California number or maybe um, an 800 number. So make sure you try to answer that. And if you don't, what's going to happen is they're not going to leave a voicemail. They're actually going to email you on the email account that you provided. And they're just going to say, hey, we couldn't get a hold of you. Please respond to this email. We have some questions. You respond to that email or you answer the call. They might have a few more questions for you, such as, uh, you know, you need to provide more information or so on. And that's it. Then if it all works out, they'll grant you access. Now I'm going to kind of just say one final thing, and that is I've run into on multiple occasions this. I've gone through this process, been all excited, uh, provided proof, only to find out that the analytics account that I'm trying to get access to no longer exists. So what does that mean? That means that basically, while my client's website had an analytics ID still you know, embedded in the header of the site, um, that, that uh, code is no longer linked to an actual analytics account anymore. And I've run into this on multiple occasions. That just means that most likely the account eventually got deleted, or maybe the person that you know, was responsible for it um, deleted it when they exited, who knows, but just kind of be prepared for that. Um, and if that happens, you know, I've just had to start from scratch. It's a little bit of a bummer, but it does happen. So that's really it. Um, so go ahead and have some fun and good luck taking these six simple steps to getting access to an analytics account. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you like this content and want to see more like it, hit the subscribe button below. And when you see that bell pop up, click that too, and you'll get notified every time I post a new video. We'll see you in the next one.